Coming up on Around Kern County, you can show your support for Kern County crime victims by participating in Crime Victims Rights Week. We're sharing details on upcoming events and how you can get involved in this important campaign. And with the weather heating up, it's important now more than ever to stay safe in and around the Kern River. How you can prepare for a safer summer when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ellie Soper. This week, the Kern County Board of Supervisors declared April 23rd through 29th as Crime Victims' Rights Week here in Kern County. You can prepare to take part in this important campaign by joining the Kern County District Attorney's Office as part of National Crime Victims' Rights Week. This year's theme is Survivor Voices, which will elevate, engage, and affect change. This year's theme calls upon communities to amplify the voices of survivors and create environments where survivors have the confidence that they will be heard, believed, and supported. Here in Kern County, we commit to elevating and engaging survivors to lift their voices, inform policy and practice, and thereby effect change. By engaging survivors, we ensure our responses and services to victims and survivors are credible, meaningful, and centered on their individual needs. On Thursday, April 27th, you can participate in the 9th Annual Kern County District Attorney's Office Crime Victims' Rights March from 3 to 4 p.m. at 1215 Truxton Avenue in the East Courtyard between the Kern County Administrative Building and Superior Courthouse. This important event will honor those who have been victims of crime here in Kern County with an emphasis on child victims of crime. Our district attorney wants our community to know everyone is invited to attend and take part in this important event. Attendees are invited to bring signs or wear t-shirts representing the victims they're honoring. Now that the weather is getting warmer, it's important now more than ever to stay safe in and around the Kern River. With historic water levels due to early spring storms, this upcoming season spent around one of Kern County's most beautiful resources will be especially dangerous. Best thing to do this year is to stay out of the river. Um, we do have a lot of snowpack that's melting and we had a lot of rain this year, so the river is running higher faster and it is very dangerous. We're patrolling as usual and we are spending extra time along the river talking to families and encouraging them to stay out. If they must get into the river, I'd say wear a life vest or personal flotation device. I'd advise you to stay three to four feet away from the river's edge because what happens is when the river is moving hard and fast, it takes out the inside of the shoreline and it can collapse and you can potentially fall in the river if you stand too close. If you're planning to get in the Kern River, always wear a securely fit life jacket and make sure to go with a guided team. If you're unsure of where the fast moving waters lie, the best way to stay safe around the Kern River is to stay out. For more information, please visit the Kern River Conservancy's website for helpful tips and guidance. As a reminder, water safety is your responsibility and your safe summer starts now. Spring is in the air and Kern County Public Works wants to help you get rid of your bulky waste before it turns into summer. They're hosting an upcoming bulky waste collection event on Saturday, April 22nd in Lamont. Residents can get rid of unwanted household bulky items such as appliances, mattresses, and barbecue grills from 8 in the morning until 12 noon at the Department of Human Services located at 83,000 Seguru Road in Lamont. This event is in partnership with the Cesar Chavez Environmental Corps, Varner & Son Incorporated, and Lamont Sanitation. You can find more information about what items are considered bulky waste and view other upcoming drop-off events at kernpublicworks.com. And we're ending today with a way you can give back to Mother Nature in honor of Earth Day. Anna Marie Odo has those details. 
Earth Day is nationally recognized each year as a day to show support for environmental protection by taking part in activities like picking up litter, planting trees, and making our Earth a happier, healthier place. The Kern River Conservancy, in partnership with Give Big Kern, is hosting their first post-flood recovery volunteer cleanup event on Saturday, April 22nd, from 9.30 in the morning to 12.30 in the afternoon. Residents will meet at the John E. McNally Rodeo Arena, which is just across the street from the Kern River Environmental Park location. For more information, please visit their website listed right there on your screen. And if you're looking for a way to celebrate locally, the Wind Wolves Preserve is hosting an Earth Day celebration on Saturday, April 22nd, from 10 in the morning until 2 in the afternoon. Residents are encouraged to come out to the preserve and enjoy Kern's beautiful nature and learn how you can help the planet. For more information on how to register, just visit their website listed right there on your screen. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.